Hello, my name is Tam Doan, and I'm an optimization manager here at 415 Digital. Uh, and today I'm going to show you how to make a portfolio bidding strategy. Uh, so you're just going to go ahead, go up here on the top right on your tools and settings, and the shared library column, it's going to be something called bid strategies. It's pretty straightforward once you can find this area, but uh, you can notice that we don't have any bid strategies here or portfolio strategies here. So you're going to go ahead and just click on the plus sign to create a new one. Here you'll see five different options to create por different portfolio bidding strategies. It's going to be target CPA, target return on ad spend, maximize clicks, maximize conversions, and target impression share. Uh, if you want to learn any more about these specific bidding strategies and what they do, uh, I'm going to link to one of our blogs that goes a little bit more into detail. But just for the sake of this blog, I'm going to get to click target CPA. Um, go ahead and name it test target. Our tests TCK portfolio. I'm going to go ahead and set my target CPA at $100. And then what's really cool about this that you may not know is if you click advanced options, you can actually set a minimum bid limit and a maximum bid limit. Uh, you can't really do that if it's just an individual campaign's TCK bidding strategy, but you can, however, do that for a portfolio bidding strategy. Um, but for now, I'm just going to leave that blank. Go ahead and click save, and you notice that it populates here, test TCPA portfolio. Um, I'm going to show you just, you know, how to change the settings of an account to do that, to switch over to your new bidding strategy. Um, so you click on one of your campaigns uh, and go to settings. Similar to how you change, you know, any other bidding strategy anyways. The settings, and then under bidding, you're going to notice, you know, change bid strategy here. Click that. Um, and what you may want to watch out for here specifically is under what do you want to focus on? It's going to be under select a bid strategy directly. You're going to go ahead and click that. And what you're going to want to watch out for here specifically is that right now it's on maximize clicks. And earlier we made a target TCPA, I mean a TCPA portfolio bidding strategy. You have, you're going to have to change this to target CPA before you can use a portfolio strategy. Otherwise, I'll just show you, it won't really show. See, because it's under maximize clicks and we made a TCPA bidding strategy. So just go ahead and switch over there. Um, go ahead and click on use portfolio strategy. You can also create a new portfolio strategy from here. That's what it defaults to, but earlier we had already created that. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna use the existing one, go ahead there, and it should populate right there. Just go ahead and click that, click save. And you're set. Portfolio bidding strategies are really great when you're going to have a lot of different campaigns on the same bidding strategy. Uh, let's say you have a few different campaigns and they're going to be all, like in this instance, TCPA bidding. And you want them to be, basically you want to make changes across multiple campaigns without having to individually go in and change every campaign. Or maybe sometimes your target CPA you just want an account-wide target CPA, and it doesn't matter if it's like this campaign or that campaign. Overall, you just want to have a CPA of, say, $100, and that's okay if it's between two different campaigns. Anyways, thanks for watching. Go ahead and click that subscribe button below for more educational videos about digital marketing. I'm also going to have a direct link in the description to our blog about portfolio bidding strategies in the case that reading is more your style. Again, thanks, and hope you have a good time exploring our content. Bye.